Welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to talk about rabbits. I will share some interesting facts with you. So if you're ready to get started, let's get into the video. Rodents do not include rabbits. Rabbits are not related to some of our other little, hairy pets, despite the fact that they may appear to be. Rabbits are classed as lagomorphs, not rodents, which belong to the order Lagomorpha. Because rabbits and other rodents, such as rats, squirrels, and guinea pigs, share many characteristics, there is a great deal of uncertainty around this categorization. In addition to sharing numerous physical characteristics, they also exhibit comparable breeding habits and chewing impulses. In fact, rabbits were considered rodents up until the early 1900s. In 1912, rabbits, along with hares and pikas, were categorized as the lagomorphs that they are today due to substantial variations in their dentition and digestive systems. Bunny Island seems fantastical, yet it's a genuine place. Over 1,000 buns live and thrive on Kunoshima, a small Japanese island, often known as Rabbit Island or Bunny Island. The rabbits may be seen by tourists. Since people frequently feed them, they are generally calm. Rabbits may not be hunted, injured, or otherwise harmed. To protect the bunnies and keep them secure, no other creatures are permitted on the island. Some rabbits may grow to be the size of an adult. Not all bunnies are little and adorable. Some develop into really gigantic creatures, such as the Flemish giant rabbit. The biggest breed of rabbit in the world, it may grow to a length of 2.5 feet and a weight of 22 pounds. Fortunately, these giants are the sort that make excellent pets. Amazingly, rabbits can hear up to 2 kilometers away. They can locate the hazard almost precisely even from that distance. A rabbit's ears aid in temperature regulation in addition to allowing them to hear and detect potential threat. The blood vessels in the rabbit's ears will swell when it becomes too hot, emitting heat and aiding in the animal's cooling. The blood vessels constrict when they become too cold, which helps the body maintain heat. Hearing impairment in rabbits is caused by wind. Most rabbits in the wild will stay underground on a windy day to avoid being startled by predators. In captivity, a fan blowing in the room or an open window might frighten your rabbit for the same reasons. Rabbit teeth are always developing. As a result, many people mistakenly believe that rabbits are rodents. They need assistance keeping their teeth short, but they're not. By gnawing on branches, bark, and stumps in the wild, rabbits maintain their teeth as small as possible. You must give your rabbit hay, wooden blocks, and other chew toys while it is kept in captivity. Their teeth become worn down by chewing on these items. In the event that everything else fails and their teeth continue to grow out too long, teeth clipping at the vet is required. Rabbits have nearly omnidirectional vision. There is a purpose for why a rabbit's eyes are on the sides of their head. They get the capacity to view everything at once. It is quite hard to sneak up on a rabbit since this encompasses the space around them and above them. The space just in front of a rabbit's nose is their solitary visual blind spot. However, their keen sense of smell allows them to understand what is in front of them. However, just because rabbits can see everything at once does not imply that their vision is faultless. Due to their farsightedness, rabbits have difficulty perceiving objects that are quite close to them. This is because in the wild, it's more important for rabbits to be able to detect predators while they are still far away. Rabbits can locate their next meal with ease because to their approximately 100 million smell cells. They can even detect the aroma of food hidden deep down. Pet rabbits enjoy playing hide and seek with goodies because they always succeed in doing so. Rabbits cannot throw up. When you own this pet, you never have to worry about cleaning up any disgusting bunny puke. That eliminates the possibility of stepping on hairballs or vomited meals. Simply put, rabbits lack the anatomical structure that would allow them to vomit. This limits the amount of disgusting body fluids you'll have to deal with as a pet owner, but it also means that rabbits' digestive systems are extremely delicate and picky. 
Whatever is ingested must pass entirely through the digestive tract in order to be expelled. Because of this, it is imperative that pet rabbits have a balanced diet that consists primarily of hay made from grass. A rabbit poops a lot because the health of its digestive system depends on it being continually active. A rabbit of any size can generate up to 100 fecal pellets a day. Fortunately, rabbit excrement doesn't smell too bad. Healthy rabbit feces are little, firm balls of fiber that have been digested. They shouldn't feel slimy or mushy to the touch, and they don't have a strong scent. In all honesty, they resemble chocolate puffs a little bit. It's really simple to sweep them into a dustpan and dispose of them when you need to clean them up. Rabbits occasionally consume their own feces and digest it a second time after a meal, which is a far less endearing activity. Although it may sound disgusting, a rabbit's nutrition really depends on droppings. They even create secotropes, a unique kind of feces that is softer than their typical pellets and intended to be consumed. Due to their rapid digestion, rabbits are able to reassimilate nutrients that their systems missed the first time around. Ensure that hay, clover, and fortified rabbit food make up the majority of your bunny's diet. The high fiber content is necessary for them to move indigestible materials like fur through their digestive systems and aid in meal digestion. You may add nutritious treats like fruits, berries, and vegetables like Brussels sprouts to their regular diets to balance them out. Rabbits can use litter boxes. So, your furry friend can have more freedom around the house and not stay confined to a cage. Training usually only takes a couple of weeks. However, instead of regular cat litter, rabbit-friendly litter should be used instead. Rabbits thrive in a family environment. In actuality, rabbits make excellent pets and thrive when they are included into the family. Rabbits are readily moved to sadness or depression if they are left alone all day. Additionally, they'll become bored, which increases their propensity to misbehave and engage in harmful actions. The cute and goofy side of your rabbit will, however, begin to emerge if you give them time and allow them to integrate into the household. It's crucial to locate a rabbit mate if you can't spend enough time with your bun to form a strong attachment. If everyone has been neutered and spayed before, rabbits can get along quite fine with another rabbit as a companion. Rabbits lick one another to express their affection and dominance. If you watch many rabbits cohabiting, you may notice that they frequently lick each other. This is how rabbits groom themselves. To aid in mutual grooming, they will lick each other, thus solidifying their connection as a bunny family. You could see that in a connected pair of rabbits, one grooms substantially more frequently than the other. This is as a result of the hierarchy of relationships that exist among rabbits. The dominating bunny will put less effort into helping their companion and will anticipate receiving more grooming. Sometimes, rabbits will lick people. They do this in an effort to lend a hand and form bonds with the individuals they trust. Therefore, pat your bunnies to say thank you if they lick you. By doing this, your rabbit may see that you are engaging in the reciprocal grooming habit. Rabbits require a lot of room. New rabbit owners are frequently pressured by pet shops and internet retailers to buy relatively small cages, yet healthy rabbits require a fair amount of space. Rabbits must be allowed to roam about in order to maintain their digestion and avoid being bored. At least three to four times the length of the rabbit should fit within the cage. Additionally, they will want enough room outside of their enclosure for regular exercise. Instead of purchasing a regular rabbit cage, I advise acquiring a rabbit playpen. In addition to giving a rabbit more room, it is also more adaptable to set up and much simpler to clean. Bunnies may live for 9 to 12 years or longer. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the oldest bunny ever recorded lived in Tasmania and was 18 years old. If you and your family are thinking of adopting one, be sure you're prepared for a lot of responsibilities. If you believe you might like having a bunny as a pet, learn what kind of care bunnies require and then contact a local animal shelter or rabbit rescue organization. Because many people believe bunnies require less maintenance than dogs and cats, they are frequently purchased as beginning pets or given as Easter gifts.
That is absolutely untrue. Even more time and care must be given to some rabbits than to other companion animals. As the bunnies grow and become a hassle, they are no longer desired. The animals are frequently let outside after that, which results in their demise because they were domestic pets and lack the skills necessary to thrive in the wild. They end up in shelters if they aren't released. Check with your neighborhood animal rescue groups first if you're thinking of bringing a rabbit or two into your house. You may select the ideal bun for you and save a life at the same time because rescues are just for bunnies. In order to ensure that their home is secure for them, they must be trained to use the toilet, and it must be bun approved. Otherwise, they may try to sharpen their teeth on electrical cables, houseplants, or furniture. They make bad pets for young children's companions. Due to their high level of sensitivity, most rabbits find even a moderate toddler's enthusiasm to be too stressful. These creatures enjoy hiding, and when handled or constrained, they get afraid. Additionally, kids sometimes lose interest in them since they don't play like other animal friends, leaving them to languish in isolation in cages. Sometimes, guinea pigs and rabbits don't get along. Their different communication styles cause their signals to get mixed up and misconstrued. Aggressive behavior and stressed out animals may result from this. When rabbits are satisfied, they flop. It's time to unwind as the rabbit suddenly rolls over onto its side. The majority of rabbits only flop when they are secure. They won't flop when there is no threat around since it renders them defenseless. When rabbits are joyful, they binky. If you spend enough time with bunnies, you could be fortunate enough to see one of the cutest natural habits. When a rabbit feels joyful, it will hop and turn while in the air. A binky is the name of this charming gesture, which is also really endearing. Rabbits can jump really high. They have a two-foot spring capacity. There have been reports of rabbits leaping approximately four feet straight up. Although they can jump quite high, they are really good at moving horizontally. Some rabbits have a nine-foot horizontal vertical jump. Your bunny's movement may be hindered by sores and other problems brought on by improperly maintained fur. Rabbits can make sounds. Although they are typically kept as silent pets, rabbits may produce sounds. When they are joyful or ecstatic, they will occasionally oink or honk. In addition, if they are angry or trying to frighten someone off, they may grunt or growl. When a rabbit thumps its powerful hind legs on the ground, it creates the loudest sound. The rabbit may be frightened or may be telling you that they don't like anything you're doing by making this pounding sound. Although they are also capable of screaming, rabbits rarely do so unless they are in great agony or are incredibly frightened and fear that they will perish. Rabbits have a top speed of 45 miles per hour. Rabbits are known to sprint quickly, but did you know that they can reach 45 miles per hour? The only animals capable of running at these peak speeds are wild rabbits, whose whole existence depends on their speed. The majority of domestic rabbits are out of shape and unable to run at this speed. Even slower rabbits can reach 25 miles per hour, and most pet rabbits can still run at rates of approximately 35 miles per hour. Rabbits lack paw pads, therefore they move and move quickly on their toes, unlike the majority of other animals. Bunnies have thick, coarse, protecting hairs on their feet that function similarly. A doe is the term for a female rabbit. A adult rabbit is referred to as a buck, and a young one as a kit. The prevailing consensus is that rabbits are kind and affectionate creatures. They may, however, also possess a dash of aggression. In particular, this is true for male rabbits. It might be challenging to let rabbits to burrow and dig in captivity. Give your rabbit some other ways to scratch her itches if you can't let her dig in the ground. Many pet rabbits like hiding under blankets. Most rabbits dislike swimming, despite the fact that they are physiologically capable of doing so. The rare marsh rabbit, however, is a powerful and skilled swimmer. They only dwell close to water and marshy areas since they love the water so much. 
A swamp rabbit attempted to board President Jimmy Carter's boat in 1979 by swimming up to it. Although some referred to this as a murder rabbit, it's doubtful that the animal intended to harm the president. It was most likely running from a predator when it was shocked to see a human guy in the boat. The incident, sometimes known as the Jimmy Carter rabbit incident, was documented in photographs. Rabbits are the third most often abandoned kind of animal in industrial settings and shelters. These critters need a lot of love since they are frightened and loving. It's crucial to understand that owning a rabbit entails having a pet for a considerable amount of time, between 8 and 10 years, and that they become members of the family as soon as you bring them home. Instead of purchasing an animal, Animal Wise wants to urge you to consider adopting or fostering one. Small species of rabbits can grow to a maximum length of 20 centimeters, 8 inches, and weigh less than 0.5 kilograms, 1 pound. Larger rabbits may reach 50 centimeters, 20 inches, and weigh more than 2 kilograms, 4.4 pounds. Known as Darius, the largest rabbit in the world is presently 130 centimeters, 4 feet, 3 inches, long and weighs over 22 kilograms, 49 pounds. Darius is a real rabbit that presently resides with its owner Annette Edwards from the UK, despite the fact that this may seem implausible. But now if you don't want to miss something, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.